Hi, this is Bonnie Kane with Waco ISD TV. We have a surprise award to give from Region 12. And I'm Jerry Mays, Executive Director at Region 12, and this is one of our Technology Foundation Awards. Uh, we're so happy to present this to some classroom teachers here at Alta Vista today. All right, and with us we have Dr. Sharon, Dr. Sharon Shields. Sharon Shields. And you're here because you are on the... I'm on the uh, Technology Grant Foundation Board. Kevin Houchin, McGregor ISD, I'm on the Technology Foundation Board. I'm Denise Ayers, and I'm the Director of the Foundation Board. Alexis Newman, Rappaport Academy, and I'm also on the board. So, we're about to go inside Alta Vista and start going down the hall to surprise our teachers. Come with us. I hate to interrupt your class, but I have an announcement to make and someone to introduce. This is Kevin Houchin. He is the superintendent in McGregor ISD, and he's also on the Region 12 Technology Grant Award. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Good. You're working hard? <laughs> well, on, on behalf of the Foundation Board, we wanted to thank you for your efforts with your kids. And we certainly want to thank you uh, for your efforts to use instructional technology. Oh, but you. most importantly, we want to give you a check for $10,000 <laughs> so that you can pursue those goals. Thank you so much for applying for the grant. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Would you like to tell us about the grant? Oh, thank you. Yeah, tell us about Yes, and this grant was called Flipping Out in Fifth Grade, and it is for actually flipping our classroom instruction so that in the gifted program we can improve the depth and complexity of what we learn during the school day. So the kids would be introduced to new concepts. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Woo! Um, we, they would be introduced to information that we might have introduced in a normal traditional classroom setting at night through uh, maybe taped things that I do for them or things that are available on the internet and then the next day we can come in and delve right into it and really build our depth in that knowledge. <laughs> awesome. Let me give you this on behalf of Region 12 of the Technology Foundation Board. Congratulations. I'm sorry, I'm just Here's your certificate that makes it official. Oh, thank oh, you. And you have the money. Thank you so much. Here you go. Julian, your teacher just won a $10,000 technology award. Do you know anything about this award? Uh, yeah, kind of. What do you know? What'd it. she say? I know it's going to help us out a lot, probably. Do you have any idea what you're going to be doing with it? Not completely. What would you do it if you had $10,000 for technology in this classroom? Probably go buy a lot of ice cream. <laughs> wow, your teacher just got a $10,000 award grant money for this classroom in technology. What do you think about that? I think that's great so that we can uh, get to learn more education for uh, us and that we can learn more things. I bet that's going to be fun helping the teacher plan for that grant. Mm -hmm. What would you, what were some of the things you'd like to specifically see? Uh, for us to get some laptops so maybe we can do our schoolwork on it. Mm -hmm. What else? And I think just laptops so we could get more for it. What do you think about that ice cream idea? Nah. <laughs> Ms. Randazzo, principal of Alta Vista, what, how did you find out about this war? Was this, how much of a surprise was this to you? Well, we were waiting and waiting because we knew the original date had passed. And ah. We were waiting. We knew it got extended. Then we found out very recently it was they were behind schedule. Mm -hmm. So we were still hopeful. Mm -hmm. But when Ms. Spark first came to talk to me about the grant, I said, go for it. Mm -hmm. I said, it's an awesome idea. Mm -hmm. um, the GT department was behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so being as innovative as she is and, and uh, committed to the kids, I think it's awesome. It's well, awesome. I know Dr. Patterson called you this morning because we wanted to make certain you were not in a, a meeting you couldn't get out of because we knew how much you wanted to be here. So were you suspicious then? I was, and then I, 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 I don't want to tell you what my first thought was, but you know, we, we just, ice cream uh, was it ice cream? Ice, ice cream. <laughs> but we, um, 
I had a child in my office, so I was talking to him, and then we started to see people gather. I said, okay, it can't be bad. Nobody, <laughs> nothing bad would happen, but we're very, very excited and looking forward to this. So what, what do you expect to see in the classroom because of this grant? Well, exactly as Ms. Spark described, I expect to see this classroom delve deeper and into more rigorous instruction because they're having the opportunity to, to preview or, or do some additional work online. It's going to be very engaging for the kids because it's going to be homework they want to do. Oh, so, oh, now that's so grant-worthy, homework you want to do. And one of the ideas is, you know, possibly looping with the kids and having this group of kids be in mm -hmm. fifth grade with her with this grant yeah. next year. Well, do you think this will help Alta Vista know that it's worth the time to apply for a grant because they can come in here and actually see? Absolutely, absolutely. We've gotten no, we've gotten one of the Waco ISD Education Foundation mm -hmm. grants mm -hmm. already this year. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it it is time consuming, but mm -hmm. it's definitely mm -hmm. worth the effort. And it does make a difference for our children, it doesn't does. it? It does. It's, it's engaging. Worth it's engaging. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you thank very you. much. Our grant writer. We have grant writers in the district who work very hard with teachers. Some 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 get more help than others because some grants are easier than, to write than others. But our grant writers don't always get to see the end product. They write these grants and they mail them off and that's all that they know. So we wanted to invite you, our lead grant writer, uh, to be here to be able to see the kids and the, the, uh, the teachers and the expressions of what it feels like, the end product. What did you think? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, the, their faces and, and Ms. Spark, she, she had the vision and the passion, and, and that is what is so um, energizing for us, is when we're able to connect with the teachers and um, just the creativity and the passion that they have to uh, work with these children. What advice would you give other teachers, not just Waco ISD teachers, because Region 12 serves a lot of school districts and, and they want to, to make certain that they're very even handed in, in sharing grants. What advice would you give to any teacher in the Region 12 area about grants? Well, I think it's it's uh, it's actually easier to do than, than you may think as far as writing a grant and, and our purpose is to support the teachers. Um, I think sometimes uh, Ms. Spark might even agree that uh, when you look at the application and, and all the requirements um, and you have your ideas sometimes it's it's hard to put the two together and figure out you know how do I make this all happen but that's where we step in and, and hopefully are supportive and helpful and so um, yeah just go ahead and try and, and you never know. You never good. know. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, we're here with Dr. Jerry Mays, the Executive Director for Region 12. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. Tell us about how Region 12 works with this committee and how, how these things come about. Uh, Dr. Kane, it's truly our pleasure. You know, the, uh, the superintendents, the business people, the educators, our staff members it's, that serve on the committee. Uh, we just decided a couple of years ago that it would just be the right thing to do to have that kind of impact in classrooms for children with instructional technology. And so this group's worked together for how to fund this, how to create a foundation. And uh, last year we had close to 100 applications and somewhere mm -hmm. in that neighborhood again mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. And we just wish we could mm -hmm. award everyone. Mm -hmm. But we're so very happy that, mm -hmm. we've, uh, that we had the opportunity to make this award here at Alta Vista today as a part of the larger program. How many did you give out this year? We awarded six this year. Six this year. Uh, six lucky classrooms. Six classrooms. <laughs> and uh, again, we wish it could be 600. Maybe mm -hmm. one day it will mm -hmm. be. So, yeah. And so we want to encourage all teachers to every year to apply for this grant because... Please do. Uh, we would love to have as many applications as we can get. It's a very tedious process, but it's also very meticulous and screen and this group spends a ton of time mm -hmm. right, making yeah. the selections it's very difficult mm -hmm. to get down mm -hmm. to those five or six seven mm -hmm. that we can award this year it mm -hmm. was six and uh but it's very well worth the time to do it the application is not that long and complicated uh but it's it, but it's worth the time it certainly is well thank you sir we appreciate it it's not only this classroom in this school but waco isd and, and the committee for all their hard work we're, we're happy to support waco isd thank and you. to all the teachers and all the principals and all the superintendents out there we would like to say apply for grants because look at these kids they are so happy and look at our happy teacher thank you <laughs>